I hope all is well if you're new to this YouTube channel my name is coach B I'm a Christian life coach and I help my journey mates aka community members thrive in their callings one topic at a time and so in this video I want to go um, deep into growth like the true um, internal process you go through probably growing pains more specifically growing pains so I'm at this transitional period where it's like to, to fully get um, what the Lord is calling me to in this season, I have to like be all in. <laughs> and so that's a huge risk, right? A lot of times when we're growing, we have a decision to make to stay comfortable and safe um, or to chance it all, right? And this situation in particular has a lot to do with like my heart and your heart is the center of all your decision making. I'm going to insert that, vi that Bible verse right here. Um, so you have to protect your heart. So I found myself um, kind of putting off um, moving forward within this area because I didn't know my capacity and um, just a little bit afraid. And we know that fear is not a God, right? Love cast out all fear, right? And Jesus uh, loved us so much that he gave his soul, right? Will sacrifice himself. So we are called to love. Love is the most important thing. I can't be held back by this fear. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? So if you're afraid, that's like the opposite of love, right? Um, as well as faith. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Does that make me want to go to um, Ephesians 6? Girl, six okay because the shield of whoo come on the shield of faith covers what the fiery darts of the enemy or wickedness yes 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 i'm teaching myself right now so i thought i was gonna be in my feelings but i feel very encouraged already anyway um i just wanted to make this video because a lot of times you guys will see me upbeat and um super encouraged actually in excited and like full of zeal on fire and um I would say that I'm used to being in that space so long, so I mean so often, that when I'm not, I just feel like, oh my goodness, am I depressed? Am I going backwards? You feel me? Am I going back to like 2017, Bianca, 2018? 2018 was pretty cool. I put on a facade though, um, where I was just like crying and had the whole breakdowns on social media. And it was actually helping people, that was weird. But yeah, um, super concerned. But before I started this video, I was dealing with a lot of self-condemnation, a lot, ooh, now it's getting heavy. And it was starting to make me, like I had these thoughts of like, end it. <laughs> and I have not struggled with suicidal thoughts in some time. And so I had to speak on this topic because the weight of just like, what it takes to grow, what it takes to get what God has for you and is calling, too like it puts you sometimes in this position of like yo i may be hurt more than i can handle if i go for this i might not be able to survive failing this thing right but be encouraged because um psalms 23 and i'm gonna read the new king james version the lord is my shepherd i i shall not win jesus oh he makes me lie down in green pastures. He like, I'm sorry. See, this is what it's like to really work through things with the Lord. It is not always um, upbeat. Like so, so much of my time in prayer when I'm being grown and like pushed into a new level is a lot of healing. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm not gonna call it tough, but there are growing pains, right? And you guys can be encouraged in your growing pains knowing that this is the process of getting to that next season um, in Christ, in Christ. And I'm realizing, actually, I knew this because I talk about refinement and purging and purification. And I mean, none of that is 
really the most exciting thing to do. It's not fun, right? All the time, at least. Um, but it's painful. You know what I'm saying? Healing is painful. When you look at, you know, when you get a boo-boo and then you put on some alcohol or you clean that thing up, when you rub on the ointments, um, you feel... You, but when you put on the alcohol, you feel it burning. Then when you put on the ointment, it's tender to the touch, right? And so that's what happens. And it's just like God is so good that his grace covers so much that most of the time we don't feel it. At least I know most of the time at this point in my healing stage, I don't feel it. You know, um, he carries so many of my burdens. But when I do feel it, I know that I'm just carrying a portion of it. It's just enough for me to tap deeper into him and to get this lesson. It's no way as bad as it would be if I was just in the world, living sin, um, living within sin, and comforting myself with things of the world. Food, um, a boyfriend, um, toxic relationships, a job money whatever looking good whatever weight loss whatever i was still being more pain there than right here where i'm supposed to be obedient to the lord seeking the lord tapping into the things the holy spirit is compelling me for to do understanding it is a huge risk and even within that risk even if it doesn't work out i am promised that no matter what the Lord will not leave my side. Hallelujah. And I have everlasting life to look forward to, no matter how things work out for me in the natural. Oh, Jesus. So, be encouraged yet again, despite my tears. And we're going to get through Psalm 23. And I just want to say that, oh my goodness, I'm talking about not wanting to go back to 2017. But in 2015, this is before I came out of um, a lot of stuff. I would read Psalms 23 and just cry because I was in so much pain. And now it has a different meaning, but that goes to say that this passage has always ministered to my heart before I even really came into a, a true relationship with the Lord that ministered to my heart. And so I just pray that it is encouraging for you. If you were in a similar position and you were just like, what feels like failing forward or um, taking these risks and just trusting the Lord, being faithful, and, and it's it's unfamiliar, it's uncomfortable. Ooh, be encouraged. That's all I can say is just be encouraged and uh, meditate on this. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna start from this. <laughs> Okay, so we have Psalms 23, um, verses 1 through 6 is when I'm read. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pasture. Oh, I just get to my heart. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Mm. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your staff and your ride, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup over my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and, and um mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever that's that everlasting life we get to look forward to so regardless of what your tribulation or your purging process your refinement process feels like in this moment you have everlasting life to look forward to you know that you are going to have love and harmony and peace and glory you have never seen before no matter how wealthy or beautiful your life on earth is now or no matter what you see you know other people have in in in, in, in the world and that should be enough and if it's not enough seek the lord about that you know um you can be honest with him like yo your promises <laughs> it's your uncle, but i'm not front up right now i'm kind of trying so come through with something please you know what i'm saying <laughs> Change my heart, change my mind. You can do it, Lord. I'm seeking you. <laughs> the mighty name of Jesus, okay? Um, so with that, I, I keep saying be encouraged. But yes, yeah, be encouraged. Um, I'm going to keep working through this with the Lord and, and get into some deep prayer. Um, but this is what the process looked like. This, this is a part of thriving in your calling, the behind the scenes, healing and transformation. And it's always more... And when I was dealing with the self-condemnation self earlier, we all bind it up in the name of Jesus and demanded it flee my life to never come back. 
um when I was dealing with it earlier the the theme of my thoughts was this is always how it's going to be and that's not true that's not true I mean some things are a thorn in our side but how I felt that does not have to persist in the name of Jesus there are so many times that I begin to feel that way as I'm about to go pray real hard now and I'll just praise or fervently pray and it gets off of me and unfortunately sometimes it's hard to tap into your fervent prayer it's hard to tap into your praise and worship because of how you feel um, and be encouraged in that as well um, I believe that if we ask the Lord for strength to get there and for help getting there, that he will provide. I know that at a certain point, he's going to require more of us for us to be more mature. Um, but he just wants a heart that seeks after him. And I know, I don't want to go back to anything um, that is not uh, beneficial for who the Lord has called me to be. And um, he'll honor that. Be encouraged. Bye.